This is Curious Expedition on Nintendo Switch. This game is basically you on an expedition. That's right, you're picked as a famous explorer. You're one of many that can unlock in the game, and there's quite a few of them. And these expeditions can be very dangerous. Of course, selecting the right person, the right explorer for the job, with different perks and, of course, advantages and disadvantages is your decision. If you want to go with the three difficulty levels, that's fine. It's easy, it's more like a holiday and there's not too much man management and you don't die as much in this as you do in that one. But there is a middle, normal uh, difficulty level where the uh, man management's important and your food and everything will, of course, uh, be very important. You end up cannibalizing each other or your animals attack you. You know, the natives go mad or your helpers fall in love and leave you because they want to stay in a village that you just camped in or you'll get one of your actual um, companions who goes mad and starts dropping stuff much to my annoyance it's one of those things that happens but yeah they drop stuff like treasure food which is most important because that keeps your sanity Drink, food is mainly for your sanity. As soon as you go insane, that's it. You start making mistakes, or your companions will leave you if they go mad, etc. The same thing happens to them. You've got to keep them happy so you can, you know, buy them trinkets for the locals that are helping you, and they'll stay loyal to you. Keep feeding your animals, and they'll stay with you and not attack you or your companions. If your, well, helpers, companions start getting unhappy then they'll leave and you basically will die death is pretty much permanent so when you die that's game over but it's good so far I'm up to the third expedition I'm really enjoying it the first first part of this video was going to be the first expedition but it didn't actually record very well it actually stuttered lost a few frame rates there so we're with expedition 2 here this is the second one and I'm on my third one at the moment I'll be in another video but the game itself is just so much fun when you get to a high point you can unlock the map which makes you you know see more of it obviously because if you're on top of a hill or a mountain or something you get to see more of the world when you do you can get points and everything you can level up your companions if they can and that'll help you kind of progress through the game you can come across settlements barter with locals and they'll either be friendly but uh, if you piss them off then they're not going to be too friendly. They might even try and kill you or at least injure you. There are lots of animals, wild beasts, hungry, kind of cannibalistic natives that will kill you on sight. Of course, the weather, if we can make a turn, and you know, when you go through a tundra or something like that, the, your feet might freeze and injuries might happen to your actual companions themselves. So you have to buy the right footwear, the right equipment. There's a lot of man management in this game. It takes, well, it took me about an hour to get the hang of it and to kind of get the uh, feel of it too because it kind of drags you in and you get so immersed with it. I thought the map was a bit ugly at first, reminding you of real politics. I thought, oh, is this going to be boring and heavy? But it's very intuitive and very, very well done because it's so fluid that our button makes you flick through your helpers, your companions, the natives, your animals, and you can man-manage those, and you can reward them, or, you know, get rid of them, yeah, you can sack them halfway through, you can kill them for food, you know, it, it's so much fun. It's probably one of the best man-management games I've played, and for an exploration game, it's such a good, such a good idea, simplistic graphics, but it's fun. You know, the way uh, you kind of protect yourself with the sanity by sleeping is uh, a good kind of um, mechanic in the game so you know when you're going to go mad it's best to rest up so the uh, emphasis on this kind of mini game is to please the locals and you can rest and you can obviously leave with your sanity intact you got a chance of finding the golden pyramid and basically you have to find the main treasure it's usually a pyramid or some huge um, kind of gold statue something very valuable when you find that it's game over you can return and you sell all the items you've found all the treasures and necklaces stuff you bought or you can give it away for fame so when you give stuff away you get fame more famous and of course you're running the race against the other explorers who are trying to do the same thing 
and the more points you get, the more gold and fame that you get, the higher up you go on this kind of scale. Of course, after six expeditions, the winner is announced, the one with the most fame becomes, uh, well, a statue. So yeah, you're honoured with a huge statue and you will be remembered for all time. So it's good to be in a race against all these famous explorers, knowing that uh, you're going to beat them. And of course, with that in mind, you're going to get your own statue. And that's the basic premise of the game. There are lots of things to do. I found the story is really good. Graphics I like. It's very, uh, very minimalistic, but they're well done and well drawn. Love it. The procedurally generated maps. I've never been keyed on those, but it suits this game. It's not too unfair. The combat system's pretty tough. It gets a little while to get used to. It's basically based on dice. And you throw the dice, obviously you have to have more um, defense and more attack to survive. But you will get your butt kicked the first few battles you have, as I did. I found it quite difficult. In fact, the combat is probably my least favorite part of the game. I think it could have been simplified a little bit. But hey, it's a really great game. Definitely worth checking out. And when you manage the man management and you're just exploring the rest of the world, you'll find yourself collecting so much loot. And then, of course, you have to upgrade everything. That's your vehicles, your animals, whatever you're using to obviously explore the world. You can store it to keep it safe. So you can sell it on to the uh, natives and buy yourself some more energy drinks and Mars bars or chocolate, whatever the hell you need to survive and keep your sanity. Yeah, it's, it's, it's basically feeding your sanity. So there we go. Food's good for you. It's a good morale booster. Again, this game... If I was to rate it, I'm going to give it a 8 out of 10 because I enjoyed the 3 or 4 hours I played it and then I wanted to play it again the next day, which is a good sign for me because normally I move on to the next game. I actually played um, this a lot more than most games. But again, when you're uh, trying to please you know, the locals and you're throwing dice for a decision, it's kind of worried when you realise you're going to get beat and hopefully God pray you don't get eaten. The game itself, as I said, solid 8 out of 10. It's going to be definitely worth a buy. And again, I, I don't really like rating games. It's no good. But enjoy the gameplay for what it's worth. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all the usual stuff that I really expect. Until then, I'll see you with another quick review very soon. Wonderful game. I love this part where menus pop up. Fantastic jungle rock for the nun. -nun. She's a psychopath. She turns into an abomination just to ruin it for you. <laughs> it's great. Six expeditions, lots of loot to find. And again, such a great premise for a game. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. I hope I mentioned comment, subscribe. Yeah, like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, I did mention it. Ah, it's good to remind you guys. Because you don't always do, do you? <laughs> Spread the word of this channel. That's what we want to do. Fantastic. See how everything opens up. You can use a flare to open stuff up as well. Avoid the animals. Definitely find a route around them. Until you get really good at the uh, actual combat, which is to me is a little bit weird. I still don't quite understand it. So I just avoid the enemies where I can. It can cost you dearly, but hey, the game is so much fun, you end up replaying it straight after. Anyway, thanks for watching, I'll see you soon. And yeah, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> three times.
Yeah. Mm -hmm. 